Damn. I'm sorry. <laughs> This guy is beautiful. What am I saying? Yo, God, Jesus, I want to Nigga, tear me up. Nigga, better tear me up. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. It's Sierra Like the Singer. If you didn't know, now you know. So today I am in a swimsuit, not because I'm going swimming, but because I'm tanning in the backyard. We usually take family vacations like right when summer starts or right before summer starts. And that's usually when I get my tan. But I decided not to go with them to Mexico. And then the second mini trip that they were supposed to have right after Mexico, my grandmother didn't end up going. And I didn't want to go without her and Marnie. So my mom and them, she ended up making it like a girl's trip or whatever with her friends. But I already put the sunscreen on and it's already been like 15 minutes so i'm about to put the sun the tanning oil on i've never used tanning oil before but i don't have a lot of time because it's been raining every single day which it does during the summer here i'm hoping i get like at least an hour 30 minutes on both sides but yeah i'm in the chair because i don't want y'all to see all my business but i'm about to put the oil on and then we're gonna go outside I don't know what else I'm doing today, but this is a very realistic day in my life because I just be doing random stuff. But yeah, I'm about to all me up. I'm done with the front. I forgot how hot my piercings get in the sun. I was laid up right next to our generator. That's really dangerous. What if that would have blew up from like the sun? Oh, look, the mailman. Do I have anything coming today? I think I have another book coming today. I did have a package. Can y'all tell the difference in my face? Because I can't open this. Rip me out the plastic. I've been acting brand new. One of my five star reads. Okay, so I'm going to do a, big, a book review video. That's why I've been ordering a bunch of books because I wanted to have... Heat stroke. Maybe I shouldn't have did this at noon. <laughs> but this is the only time it said it wasn't. It was supposed to be raining by now and it's not. Anyways, this I just read. This I read months ago. And this was my plane book. So I only read this while I was traveling. So it took me a while to finish it. But I, I did finish it when I went to LA. But yeah, that's the three books I got in lately. This one is sapphic. This one is black ya this one is asian vampires the mc is filipino and i think the the mc is non-binary too and then the white girl is from new orleans i don't remember where they live i remember the girl had like a conspiracy tiktok account the boy has ocd and they were like childhood friends to enemies but they was never really enemies she she just decided not to f with him no more after he said something that made her mad she got like, what is it called? Preventative detachment? I don't know. But I will be going in depth in the book review. I'm still dizzy. Y'all, I, I might have to do my back tomorrow because I need to eat something, but I feel like if I eat something right now, I throw up. Why do I do things like this to myself? Y'all, yesterday I stretched my ears to 1G. Dang, now the water making me feel like I'm about to puke. But I never went to 1G before when I was stretching. I had stopped at 2G and then I had took them out for my birthday because I wanted to wear these earrings that I bought. And they shrunk completely. Like, completely, completely. Like, like I literally, like, it looked like I just got my little pierce. Anyways, I need to lay down. I'm about to shower this off my body and take a nap. And then wake up and eat, hopefully. Why am I to puke from chewing my vitamins? Did I just get sun sickness? so what was i talking about oh i said i was on a restretch after i got back home but i had covid so i was sick for like a month after that ended i was like okay i don't want to wait to get back to 2g so i literally kind of forced the 2g into my earlobe to stretch it i did that like a week ago and then yesterday i did the 1g and the 1g went in so easy but of course it did <laughs> 
if I had already forced myself but that's because I would have never did that if it wasn't for all the comments under my like my stretching content that was like oh my gosh you better than me because I stretched to double zero in a day are you crazy so in my mind I'm like damn they doing all that 2g is nothing compared to double zero so I was like I could I could do 2g I only could do one I did one ear and I was done it took a whole like 24 hours for it to stop throbbing for me not to feel it no more and then I almost did do the other one but I was like I did one I gotta do the other one then I did the other one the next day and now when I swear it, it didn't hurt as much but I feel like it hurt longer like it wasn't really throbbing it was like just a constant pressure but yeah I did one G this one is still a little swollen just the one that I hurt just a little bit it hurt for like an hour and then this one didn't hurt at all but yeah I think this is the biggest I'm gonna go I look rough I look exactly how I feel right now, but the the nauseousness is going away. But I'm still, di I want to say ditzy, dizzy. I I'm very dizzy for doing that actually. What's that? That Drake me? Let's go for six. <laughs> I'm about three shades darker. Let's go for six. I was gonna wait until we actually went because we're supposed to be going again on the fourth of July. But the reason I'm rushing it is because I just want to be real dark because I'm going to tan while I'm there too. But also because Imani, when I was like, oh my gosh, like talking about her tan and stuff and how I was making her eyes pop and how like even though she got darker, her rosy cheeks still show. I just love Imani's rosy cheeks. I don't know where she get that from, but like her cheeks are just so rosy. She always looks like she's blushing. I love when she gets her tan because she just looks so, so, so pretty. And she's like, I don't want to be this dark. I'm like... Do you see your eyes right now? Do you see? You really, you look like, you know how like, um, I forgot, I forgot what the ethnicity is in India, but they like, they'll be dark, but they'll have like these amber eyes. That's what Imani gives. Like it gives vampire and that's what Imani is giving right now. And she don't like it, but I've been, I've been showering her with compliments because you gonna like it. You gonna like it. And then we're gonna be matching. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna get my tan now and I'm gonna get my even darker on the fourth in the lazy roof and on the beach chairs. Cause the way that the whole um of course the water park is just straight cement, that sun just be beaming and, and yeah. But at least today I had a little breeze. Every time I feel like I couldn't breathe, the breeze came out. I was like, oh thank goodness for the trees. They ain't got no trees. I shouldn't be telling y'all when I'm going though. Cause when y'all try to come see me just know i'm going no, i'm not gonna say where just say the water park the casinos i'm feeling a little better i feel like i should go eat on something what can i go snack on and i was like i mean it don't look like it's gonna rain anytime soon do you want to get in the pool and she like yeah so she was like let me ask mom so my mom was like yeah we can get in the pool but she ain't cut her grass girl we're gonna be in the pool no, don't worry about that i'm playing around with this camera and the troop is passing by me but and she was like you gonna go get carson so i'm going to get carson <laughs> and we're gonna get in the pool but yeah i completely forgot my grandmother brought my mom that pool that was last summer i be forgetting they got a pool back there because i don't really be going to my mama's house like that and of course they said that my grandmother my daddy mama she cook uh they cooking red beans and fried chicken so yeah i'm going over there even though the food ain't ready and carson ain't ready i'm going over there and give me a plate but yeah like i said this is a very realistic day in life because i don't be making plans we just be doing i just be doing stuff yo why i for that's why they cooking food it's first of all i forgot it was sunday second of all i forgot that my grandmother reopened her church i'm like what is all them cars doing there now i feel bad that's where the church goes i'm gonna say give me a plate I'm gonna have to zip my jacket up and stuff. I'm not bringing my camera in there. <laughs> the pump is in a garage. I can't. I need to get the pump, but how I'm open the garage and she mopped the flow by the garage. I can't open the garage. I'm about to ask her, tell her to go press the button. And I just remembered, if I show them kids, they gonna turn off my comments. My tan look good, huh? Yeah, but I want the floor so I can tan. The pool noodles not gonna hold me up, girl. I'm 130 pounds. Who's Carson? You kind of black Carson in the corner. <laughs> I see why the water is so warm. 
I took a shower to get all that sunscreen off me after we got out the pool. We got out the pool like it's like 425. So we got out the pool like around like 3:30 because the walls kept following me. Mine. It was one wall that just I kept swinging at it with the pool noodle, but it kept following her. We came back over here because they wanted to ride back over here. While I was in the shower, my brother came with our little cousin, so he took Carson with them back to the pool. Carson had got out earlier than us. I don't know him and mine was fighting over some goggles or something, so he got mad and started pouting and was sitting in the chair. Like 30 minutes before we got out. So they probably back in the pool. Me and Mine go go, but my grandma said she wanted to come right down there. So we wait for her to finish ironing her clothes for the week. And then we'll go back down there. But I'm not getting back in. I need to my shower. To say I didn't really tan like I was supposed to today because I was out there in that sun with nothing in my stomach. Sweating up a storm, sitting on cement in 100 degree weather. Because I'm insane, apparently. I got a nice little color. I was looking at my chest and looking at the rest of my face. I was like, Ugh. okay, okay, a little cold. I don't look like I've been cooped up in a house no more. I don't know. I'm trying to see if I want to take a book to my mom and read. Mm. They just announced that Vigilantes is getting an anime. So now I'm looking at my Vigilantes like I need to reread it. And I just stopped paying for Shonen on my phone. So I could read on my phone, which would be easier. But I have I have all the way up to nine. They only have 14 volumes. Image Vigilantes is not long. But I took my JJK and put it in my closet because I think I'm gonna sell it. But yeah, I, I'm missing, wow. I'm missing five. Cause it goes up, I don't think 14, the translation is out yet. But I'm like, should I take these with me to my mama? Or should I just pay the $2? I don't remember why, but I had stopped reading it on my phone, so I don't even know how far I had got. But I know I didn't. Did I get to the stuff with Shiro Kumo? I don't remember. Well, I have some other paper with me. But I was planning on rereading it anyway because it was completed. Because oh, it recently finished this year. But oh my gosh, MHA has so much potential to be like not on marvel level but on a level where you can just it can be an entire franchise and have so many spin-offs like there's already like four spin-offs off of my hero academia like it literally could keep going like prequels and sequels like characters like it's already set up for characters that are young to have their own stories in the future and like the backstories for all like the teachers and the older heroes and stuff like that we could just it could just go on forever the mha verse will never end like it just will keep continuing and i hope it do because i feel like mha is going to it's either going to end this year or end right before the next season comes out because they keep doing breaks for the weekly chapters releases and i feel like they do that on purpose if they not and they man really got like health issues i feel so bad horror course she please don't take that to heart but i feel like they trying they add an extra breaks to kind of like prolong it like the timeline of when it will end because we end the last arc i don't know i don't know but i'm gonna start it should I take the other one with me? How long are we gonna be over there? Cameron said that my grandmother told him that if he wanted some chicken, she was fixing some more, but he said he didn't want none. So I called, I said, Cameron said he didn't want no chicken, but I want some more, so if you can fry some more, fry me some more, some more chicken. So she fried me some more chicken, so I actually need to go pick up the chicken. <laughs> I'ma go at 5.20, 5.15. <gasps> oh, Inko! That's Izuku's mama. <laughs> I'm going to get my chicken. <laughs> and they was rushing me to come back. Not even without my chicken. I ate three over there. And I'm eating four right now. Mm -hmm. While I was waiting for the chicken to cook, I was reading the video on the app on my phone. So I'm like almost done with the first volume. Today was a good day. What time is it? It's like 6.42. Today was a good day. I feel like this isn't enough to post. But I also feel like I should just have one vlog on my channel of me just 
not doing anything so y'all can understand that I don't be doing anything. Do y'all eat this part off the wing? The tips? Because my friend called me real country. <laughs> Go eat the tips. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know if I'm going to post this today. I might post it tomorrow. I'm really just sitting there and recording it and kick them. This shit tastes like my childhood. Last minute. Thank y'all for watching the video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video.